Hello, fellow adventurers. All right, Castaway is all, all kitted out here. Where are you going, Castaway? You're looking, you got to look at those cute little cheeks. Look at those cute little cheeks. Am I, I, oh, I've got my armor. So what are you wanting to do? Put our building blocks here. Let's put this stuff away. I don't want to be packing everything around. I've got a bunch of good stuff now. That's looking good. Put our, yeah, I'll keep all the rest of the stuff. And do I have, uh, I've got uh, one iron pickaxe. I could really use another iron pickaxe. Okay, and what do I have? I've got an iron sword, yep. Oh, no, I want a... I'm going to make a couple more of those, and... I don't need to carry around all of... Yeah, fishing rod with mending one. I'll keep the lure three one. Okay, so this... I don't know if this is going to qualify as a valuable or gear. I'm not even sure anymore. Oh, I've lost my compass too, didn't I? That's not good. I would like to have my compass back. Excuse me, sir, I'd like a compass. Okay, what did I need again for that thing? There we go. The problem is I've been playing on the Nintendo Switch with Zoe and it's messed up my uh, controllers backwards a little bit. The buttons are slightly different in their alignment on a lot of things. So every time I swap between Playing on the Switch and playing on PC, it totally messes me up. I, it takes me a bit to like get my brain around. It's like, oh, the muscle memory. I don't know why it's gone already. It's ridiculous. Okay, we need to get... Uh, I need some coal. Do we, we don't have any left, do we? I do. Okay, good. I'm going to steal the coal we have remaining. Because I'm going to need to make some torches. Also, we need to... Um, how much wood do I have on me? I'd have like no wood on me. So let's take a little bit of wood and we will make some sticks. I got 39 sticks. Okay, that's good. Um, I will make a, yeah, there we go. I got some sticks left over. I've got a pile of torches. I got some food. What else do I need? I gotta go get some stuff. Okay, so what are you up to, Castaway? Where's, oh, there, yeah, I'm going to follow him. Let's see where he's going. Oh, he stayed. Is he still in the farm? Oh, he's got his mare. Where are you going, Castaway? Why are you... Okay, I'm going to get... We're, we're taking a long way around. Oh, that's a spider. I was like, what is hanging out around our house? He's doing wheelies around me? All right. So where is he going? I don't know. We'll find out what he's doing. Oh, he's off his horse. You're off your horse, buddy. Now, we were talking about taming some animals and setting up a bit of an area around here. I don't know where exactly we want to do that. That hasn't been totally determined yet. Although it looks like we've got a pretty good area we could fill, take down and fill in. Like this whole area here is pretty nice. We could do a lot. Oh, he's, yeah, he's trying to keep this cow. Okay. So I should really have a shovel on me is what I should do. Always bringing the cow home. That's kind of, that's nice. So yeah, well, I think that might be an idea. We've got our, I mean, we've got our huge mine entrance here. So we can block off from around here, over to here, and start making a lovely little place for animals. We've got our place over here, but it's going to be of, uh, you know, limited... Oh, 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 oh. I don't know what he was doing. Oh, he was trying to kill that spider, I think. Well, I'm going to grab some, Let's see what I've got. Let's grab, I think we'll just do regular fencing, right? Cobblestone wall. And I'm going to need like uh, a pile of it. I probably have nowhere near enough. Um, is that all I have? Oh, I've got some cobble in the chest. Let's grab the rest of the cobble. No, that's not what I want. There we go. Yes. Oh, take that cobble. And uh, you got any? No. 
And I think that one was empty as well. Oh yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, and we've got a crafting table out there, so we can figure that out after. Okay, so we'll see if he gets the hang or he gets the gist of what I'm trying to do out here. Now, in terms of um, the topology of this place, I don't know how exactly I want to lay this out. Oop. Oh, for Pete's sakes. I go to clear it out and I don't go far enough and grab the things I want. There we are. So let's just confirm what we kind of have. Uh, this is all good. This is all really good area. Okay, so I will definitely, let's start here. And I'll just get him, I'll, I think I'll just start showing him. I'm gonna come over to here, Subway. And then we'll have to have an entrance here. And then we'll come this way. Oh, and uh, uh, then I fall down into the pit. What is that? Oh, that's a fan. <laughs> I like it. I've already accidentally put a fence down in there. All right. So that's an issue. I can fill that in from underneath, actually. That's not too bad. Um, but it does create an, a little bit of a problem for me. Okay, let's... Go over here. I'm just gonna create a uh, create a shovel, as I don't even have one. All right, let's put this thing here and uh, see what we can do. Because we, I want if the, this got to serve a purpose, so I'll at least clear off the top here. There we go. And then we'll kind of fill this in as much as we need to, I guess. That's not bad. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. Well, how far over do I want to take this? Hello there. I'm thinking, I guess I'll clear off like a lot of this area. Let's kind of delineate an area here. Yeah, I think this whole middle area would be an excellent area. So let's take this down a little bit. And leave it kind of, uh, most of it's going to be kind of high because then we can, uh, we got a line of sight around, which is kind of nice. And won't have people dropping in on us. Okay, so let's, uh, we're going to build... I'd say we could build right over to around here. Why don't we do that? Uh, do I want to take any of this down then further? I don't think so. I think we're okay. Okay, and then in this area, I will have to fix that up a little bit. So let's pop this down a little bit more. Follow this along, over to you, okay. Okay. Yeah, you keep on going. And that's all I have. Oh yeah, well, we'll keep digging a little bit here. So as we break this apart, it'll give us more space. So let's dig a little bit more here. Or give us more uh, dirt to work with. And at some point I'll have to go around the edging and do a lot of the edging in stone, just for the sake of creepers and stuff blowing up my fence. 
and this will get improved over time. This is just let's a, a more of a let's get started with this kind of process. It's really giving her with the rain. I've got all the gra the uh, the dirt downstairs. I could have just gone home and grabbed a bunch as well. That's all right. Clear this out a little bit. Gives the animals a nice flat area, and it makes it easier for us to go and deal with them. But hopefully this will make it easier for us to um, kind of bring some animals over to come and uh, live on our farm. Because otherwise, bringing them over that little fence and stuff is a bit of a pain. So let's get this done here. And you. Oh, no, I want under there. Okay. It's still over to here. Wow. Oh. Yeah, and then we'll go here, here. I'm trying to figure out where exactly I'm even filling into. Oh yeah, see that fence could come in already. I could tuck it in. Maybe I will bring it in one notch. And then we can go right along this edge. Bring it one over, go up top here maybe. Again, I'm gonna have to displace this probably with um, stronger materials eventually, some of it at least. All right, that's getting there. That's looking a little bit better. Okay, so we'll continue building along here and we'll take this along here. Now, yeah, you know what we could do? Let's just do that. Let's bring this up. We all, well, we don't want the animals to even try to get out as well. So unless I plan to take this all down, which I don't know that I want to necessarily. Why don't I go... And we'll go along the here. Yeah, I'll just keep that little double barrier for now. Like that, actually. There's like a little, uh, uh, even more uh, disincentive for the uh, all the nasties to stay away. They definitely can't get up. All right, now we've got this here. No more dirt. Let's go get a little bit more. I thought I, did I kill the shovel? It's very, it's almost too peaceful right now. It's been really quiet in the area. Expecting something to like come and attack us. Now I wonder if Castaway, is, if he's getting the idea that of what I'm trying to do here. Now I gotta go over and deal with the other side as well. I wanna get that kind of going. And this allows, a big thing is getting a like huge sheep farm Getting a, like a, just a huge farm, because then we have a whole pile of like wool and resources and stuff. Definitely not playing this one vegan. We're we're gonna be uh, having all kinds of colored wool. It's a building material issue uh, ultimately. To get really colorful and to get really fun, you need all of that wool. Sadly, we are on the edge of the uh, the frozen climate, so our sheepies might be a little cold. Okay, that should be enough to finish up what we need here. Let's go throw these down. Okay. Yeah, spider, I am looking at you. Not leaving any hollow gaps. All right, this is, uh, yeah, this is, it's taking shape. Gotta love terraforming. It's so tedious, but it's kind of also so satisfying at the same time, I always find. Oh, 
Oh. At least when you're working with dirt as well, there's uh, the commitment level is so much lower. It's like not a big deal if you mess up. Because then you're like, yeah, no biggie. No biggie. Okay. And then we'll carry this along here. Beautiful. That's looking good. And I don't know what I'll do. I might keep that. I like that little like barricade along the front. It adds a little, it adds a nice look. Okay, look, Spideys. This isn't a spider farm. This is a, like a nice animals farm. This is for cuties, not for meanies. Okay, so the question then is going to be, um, what? how far are we going to put this thing? And where do we want, yeah, where do we want to carry this thing over to? I could see maybe going to around the extent of the house. That would make a sort of sense to me, I think. What do we have going on down here? Is there any, so we're, we're still a good, oh, it's right, we're near the end of the ravine. Oh, that's not bad at all then. That actually, well, you know what I will do? Let's go around, we'll go around to here. So in terms of the layout, how are we looking? That's reasonably flat-ish. Yeah, we got skellies over here. This might be a good area to kind of go to then. All right, so I will, I will take it to around, let's say here. I don't know that I, uh, I have any other, you know, good reason to go for one area or another. It's gonna be some cleanup. Now I will take this out, I think. This will give me some fill because I'm gonna have to fill in a little bit more on one of the other areas as well. I see those, all the, the pits that we've got in the middle of the thing. I'm gonna clean those up so they, the cuties don't have to go falling into those things. And we're going to need to have a, uh, uh, I've got some more sticks. All right, let's go build a couple more shovels. We're gonna to need to have um, a lot more light in this area. So we'll keep that the, the monsters down as well. There we are. Should really build some iron shovels. I just wanted to get doing that. You know, that feeling when you want to, you're like the, uh, running back and forth sometimes just is so tedious that you're just like, I just want to do that's how I get sometimes. In, I think in this game, like, you know what? I'll take the tedium. If it means I can just do the thing right now, instead of wasting another two minutes going and getting the other thing that would make my job easier in the end, but it means it would have to go and get the other thing. <laughs> And I always feel like I'll, I'll pretty much be done by the time. I'm one of those people. Like, ah, I'll be, by the time I get this done the hard way, I'll, I'll be done anyway. So, you know, what's the point? There we go. We've been uh, watching all the, the, the E3 coverage that happened which will be, I guess, a little bit after we, we put this episode up. We were watching all that and thinking a lot about like, okay, what do we want to do in the future with Minecraft? Like where we wanted to go with this. And uh, there's, there's so much cool stuff. There's going to be a lot of fun stuff to do. It's interesting how they've tried to take the, uh, the, the game and really build it up a lot. With the, uh, especially with like with the AR stuff, with the the four party, uh, the kind of you know Minecraft looking kind of RPG ish, the whatever it's called, the the one where you're more questing and going out and doing stuff. I like that. That looks really fun. It looks like that'll be a cool one. 
Okay, so let's continue the fence now along here. And I gotta figure out, okay, where did we get to over here? So I'll, you know what I'll do is, okay, so I'll accept the dude, dude. I'm just gonna dig through here. Oh, come on. Okay, so now what do I want to do? Yeah, I don't want this. But the other layer I may just leave then. Because I don't see a point of going lower. So what I'll do is I'm actually going to fill... There we go. Well, we actually had enough fence to do a good chunk. I'm surprised we were able to do as much as we've been able to do. Until I run into things and waste all the fence going double high. I think what I'll do is I'll assign my helpers. Well, they're not even my helpers. I, we will probably do some offline time because that was the goal I think as we hit summer here we'll probably spend more time playing in this world where we're not recording just because we'll actually have like uh, the time to do it and it'll be fun to just you know chill out and not build for any other reason that other than we just feel like it so we'll probably spend more time doing that okay and then yeah, what, how do I want to transition down? I guess we can just transition like that. And then we'll figure out where we want to put our gates and all that stuff later. Nice. All right. That's an excellent start. Okay, now... I'm really getting hungry, so I should probably eat some food. I was paying no attention to my jittering. I like it's like, like, dude, you're starving. Just eat it up. Eat it up, my friend. Eat it up. We're good? Okay. And we'll just clean this up a little bit so that we don't have people jumping in our yard. Nothing worse than that. Uninvited guests. No thank you. Especially now when they want to eat all of our cuties. We don't want that happening. You know, I thought this was actually going to take a little longer. I forget how quick you can get a, a fair amount kind of going here. Uh, you know what we'll do is we'll... I'll take this down fairly flat. Actually, no, I won't. I'll contour it. There we go. Take it there. And we'll make it look kind of natural. I might take it back a bit further after, but that's good for now. Okay. So that's good. That's looking like a nice start. Whoa, that's a bit dangerous. I should really, you know what I'll do is I'm gonna put some fencing here. So don't accidentally like go down this. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's go around here. Let's throw down. Uh, yeah, you know what we'll do is we'll actually, we'll just torch up the, the edging, won't we? And we'll go like, I don't know, like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. And then we'll put it out in the yard. That sort of thing. I'll do a couple in the front. Maybe they'll, they, they'll get the pattern. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hopefully the kids will see uh, 
that there is in fact a pattern. One, two, three, four. All right, and then same deal, I guess, up here. Oh, did Castaway cut a hole through my fence? I think he already did. Okay, and then on this side. So yeah, let's wrap up building this way. Forgot we actually have some more to do here. Okay, now, how do I wanna do this? I Yeah, I can fill that in there. And then we're gonna be joining here. You know what I might do? Is I, I actually might raise this all up a little bit. Let's do that. Let's raise this up. Make this look kind of uniform. Oh wow, that actually would work nice, wouldn't it? Okay, yeah, let's do it. We'll at least get the edging going. And then that kind of gives us a, a place to start with. Wow, okay, that, that's not bad at all. And then we'll, yeah, I'll bring this one. Yeah, that looks good. I think I will do that. We'll bring it this way. 15, I don't even have enough to finish. Almost though. So let's, let's grab uh, 31, sure. Okay, and I'll leave a little entrance right here for the moment. Okay, and then we'll build up a little bit. There we go. Um, just so we have a, a little bit of an entrance for a castaway to get in here with the cuties. And then from this point, We'll take all of the, our, uh, our dirt, we'll fill this in, and uh, get the torches on it. Oh, this is looking good. I'm really pleased with this. Yeah, we'll, we'll flatten this whole thing in, and then that'll kind of raise it up a layer. That is going to be fantastic. This is a large area. Perfect. And then we'll figure out how exactly we want to do it. I'm very happy with it. That was a good, uh, a good place for us to, to get to, I feel like, here. You okay out there, Spider? He needs some help? I think we, uh, do we have a spider first aid attendant? Oh, there's two of them. Oh gosh, where is where is the lifeguard? There is no spider lifeguard. Hey, look at our four. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave them alone now. I just got uh, distracted by our, our little, uh, our fortressy thing over here. I like it. That is a good start. This kingdom is gonna start coming together. I'm, I'm glad we got building a little bit here. This is gonna be a really nice little animal pen. I might lower that down over there at some point. It might just irritate me. We'll see. And then uh, Zoe's gonna get her gigantic fortress house over there built as well. And then from there, uh, I think we just keep building out more structures around this kingdom. I'd like to build all around, kind of around the outside edging and stuff and uh, see if we can't get ourselves a whole little settlement going. At any rate, nighttime is coming and I think that's a good place for us to take a break. We got quite a bit done. We will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.